So obviously this is uh, like Saturn right here. It's what they tell us Saturn, the planet Saturn is. But do you see these bands? Um, you see these bands around the um, this big, what people call a star. Now remember, or a planet, you know, there's stars and um those are stars are messengers and angels they're spirits right and so um you know i i don't know exactly what this whole planet thing is but i know those things that they look like what we call stars as lights in the sky those are in it, that's that's um spirits and angels messengers right so you guys, this is the book of Haggai, and it says, Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth. So this is talking about the end days. Okay, it's talking about the very the last days, days which we're about to see this day. And I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen. And I will overthrow the chariots, and those that ride on them, and the horses and their riders, shall come down, every one by the sword of his brother. Okay, so it's talking about the end day. In that, in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, will I take thee, O Zerubbabel, my servant, the son of Shatil, saith the Lord, and I will make thee as a signet, for I have chosen thee, saith the Lord of hosts. So. You guys, this is, um, you know that there's, um, you know, this is talking about the end days. And you guys know that there's literal fulfillments of things, like a physical, and there's spiritual. And these fulfillments will happen, you guys. The kingdom of earth doesn't, or I'm sorry, the kingdom of heaven, okay, the, the thousand year reign doesn't come by observance. It comes by people realizing what scripture is and then being led in the spirit, living holy lives and being led by the spirit of God. And that causes things to be fulfilled, right? But, um, so these things, you guys, this around this planet, these are bands, okay? They look like a, see how it looks like a big giant band? Well, bands, you guys, are groups of angels and messengers and spirits, okay? So, there was actually um, a video, or I'm sorry, not a video, on the news. They were saying that there was this star, this huge star, or maybe a small planet that was out in way far away from us and it had its own um gravi it had its own gravitational pull and it sucked another star into its gravitational pull but the star that it sucked in it sucked all the whole entire band there was a huge band of of um of messengers and angels there's a huge band of them and they sucked the energy they sucked everything of the star from the middle they sucked it into them and it destroyed it basically collapsed in on itself what those things are you guys is those are wars of angels in the divine and in the spiritual those are wars going on in the heavens okay so when you see something like okay um, like what's in the physical what's in the spiritual manifests in the physical and so, like, say for instance, Ezra, okay? So you go to Ezra, and I have typed in the word bands, okay? And it says, For I was ashamed to require of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy in the way, because we had spoken unto the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all them for good that seek him, but his power and his wrath is against them that forsake him. So he's talking about a band of soldiers. Alright, and then if we go, let's go to 
Chronicles. First Chronicles. Okay. And with them by their generations <clears throat> after the house of their fathers were bands of soldiers for war. Okay. David received them and made them captains of the band. And they helped David against the band of the rovers. You guys, you know how we got this this word abandonment like it means like a group of people, right? Um, the reason how we got that word, okay, was divinely influenced because that's how things are. There's bands, legions or bands of angels and spirits that are in the heavens that work together as a group of angels. So when people are doing spiritual warfare, sometimes those bands, depending on how the Lord, how, what type of spirits the Lord sends out to do the actual spiritual warfare, he'll send maybe a band of angels around a certain force, a certain energy, a dark forces or an energy, and they will destroy or um, consign that evil force, and it will have to go somewhere else. It won't be allowed to work its power and its iniquity um, anymore. Okay, so that's what these things are. These are bands of of uh, like messengers and spirits. Um, and so that's what you see. That's where we get the word band from. It's like a group of of angels and spirits. Angels are actually messengers, you guys. They're not like when you see stars and they're moving in the sky, those aren't rocks. It's not what they tell us in school, or rocks with gas on it. Those are actually light. It's a light. It's energy. Okay, and these are... Um, some of them are actually angels with a let with an energy around them, okay, but you can't see them with your naked eye, but they're actually angels, okay. And as you go up higher or to toward closer to the firmament, you see more and more and more and more of them. And when you see them shooting across the sky, those are ones a lot of the times who have left their for their they have left their habitation when it talks about. In the scriptures about angels leaving their first habitation, those shooting stars are angels. A lot of them are angels that are not good angels. Um, but anyway, you guys, I just thought I would share that with you guys. I love you guys. God bless.